Well, Luna Moss. Okay. Fausto, the most consistent jogger in my runs. It's time to make it even more famous. Oh no, I got it. Alright, that's pretty good. Go, go, go. What's in items? Alright, oh, that's a great amount of silver. Now I can literally just buy all good ju go juice they have. Um, they just hope they have some this time. Oh yeah, they do. Yay! This run is alive! Let's make sure my clicks on uh, Caravan sound point. I should be ahead of my PB now. If I remember correctly, I had to tr uh, trade in another town. Yeah. Days of food, it's not looking too good. It depends on some luck. Sometimes I get like 50 to 60, sometimes it's more like 30 to 40. This just means I want to be careful because. Uh, running out of food one day before arriving at ship is great, but get it a bit closer and you're screwed. Okay. <sighs> I would be really focusing on those caravans right now. And on approaching 15th of August, when I set my drug policy. Mm. Set wonder is fine, it's not wasting any time. But caravans are of my worst enemies. So I need to shoot and move on button. assignment. All right, let's prepare for the ship. And where are you? Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh no, I still sleep. Okay, let's get ready. I was a bit slow, but doesn't matter. What's important is I've been slow to split, not 
to start. up anything yeah Whee. yeah it is the ferret you really bring me luck <laughs> it's like third time and now you're like what just joined not like 10 minutes ago <laughs> oh. yeah let's let me make just another a world overview no that's uh, pretty much the same pb it's Escape any percent, uh, peaceful, um, with naked brutality, and as well as regular. charging okay let me move my hand away from space because I have my fingers uh, above like it's so easy to have this habit but it can literally kill this run Alright, I'm gonna go over the world. Um, surprisingly, this is ocean, but this actually looked to me as some ice sheet with a continuation, uh, which you can somehow generate. But it seems like no. Uh, I really like this. <laughs> Great for fish, not so great for you. But also, surprisingly, some relatively smaller lakes also have it, like the sea and something even smaller had it oh this is also called sea oh ocean it looks like a smiley face it's like yelling wow and wants to eat all your food so get your pemmican safe um yeah like Surprisingly, somebody even lives here. This is like minus 26 uh, temperature average. This ice sheet, it's not much better than this sea ice. Like, so freaking cold. And you pretty much need to be a cannibal and a psychopath to live there. Oh, let's see how deep does it get. Yeah, it's not it's not too deep. Well, it, it actually is relatively deep considering this is close to the edge. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going down pretty fast. Even this is minus 60 meters. Yeah. Well, this island would make a prison pretty much. Uh, it's actually not too bad with the growing period being quite reasonable. It's similar to a temperate forest and the temperature range is also like um, very similar. But yeah, this, there must be less place to grow stuff. Uh, my favorite is this one. 
and there are a couple similar. So it's year-round growing period. It seems seemingly amazing average temperature, so you can like, it almost be naked half of the year. Uh, there is a range though, so it's not exactly like full year range for like a human body default comfortable temperature, but still very good. This is not super great, but uh, yeah, that's what you got in the rainforest. This is a kind of island. Oh no, screw everything. I got tired. Leave me alone. Um, oh, and there is uh, something more like that. Just hotter. But yeah, this one is better. Yep, exactly. Like more mosquitoes with malaria and other shenanigans. Okay, yeah, this is a weird place, really. So, there's this temperate forest nearby, which looks pretty reasonable, and it has a nice growing period. Then, as you go in, just slightly, it's already dropped by minus 15 degrees, almost. Then, here, just get, like, thing with no growing period at all. And, yeah doesn't get better. Ironically, this tundra is like worse than some of tundra here, yeah, which allows you to grow for 20 to 10 days, and the average temperature can be even lower, which is surprising. Yeah, you need to go very, very north to get like no growing. Oh, some random ice sheet. Yeah, it's a bit colder than I think there was some ice uh, even in more southern location, but I'm not sure if I can find it. There is this tundra just too far south. And yeah, it's substantially colder than this desert. But still, it's survivable. Pretty much. I think temperate forests are always at least 30 day growing periods but yeah there's also like a range in temperatures minus 13 to 27 and I believe this would still be one yeah 7 to 26 that's huge and I think deserts are like most eye-opening for me uh, this is no this, this is tundra but yeah this is desert with like pretty much zero average temperature with normal winter and let's find some hot desert yeah it's like 25 so yeah i was thinking uh, to play desert biome but then i just realized uh like well it really depends on which one you pick and gameplay can be quite different and yeah growing period is year round but I like this hot desert. Uh, you just get everybody dusters and they're not even afraid of a heat wave. And uh, you only need to worry about cooling for insides and you know, like a fridge. And well, solar flare, flare is not very nice, but double walls on the fridge can help uh, quite a lot. Um, I'm gonna make a pause in world watching and check the ship. Seven days. Yeah. That's, I I like uh, this this lake, or rather sea. It's, uh, mo I mostly enjoy it for the these rivers uh, flowing in. So it looks like some uh, animal who has very long arms stretched to the back and who is about to snap you or something. But yeah, that part is... Uh, uh, 
but I like it as an art. Oh, what do we have? Abandoned settlement, faction new arrivals. Who could have left it? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there is a Black Frog Island and Iguano Wrist Swamp. Yeah, Black Frog Island also, it's pretty much swamp. Oh yeah, one more thing uh, I like to point out is that uh, the game reuses some colonies' names and island names. For example, I had Tona uh, character in my first playthrough, as well as uh, Abanquera. Let's see here. Yeah, this is a crazy temperature. Well, but at least you don't need a fridge. Because the whole map is, is one. Alright. What else? Oh yeah, I like this happy conglomeration. And pirates who probably know something. And yeah, speaking of pirates. They're not very creative this time. Yeah, to be fair, I'm, I'm not that good as, with names either. But yeah, I think the Black Carters sounds way cooler. And this one is Red Commonwealth, who looks like communists. And I'm curious, who is the Stellark? You know, I start loving this world, just how much uh, like it, it's involved in my game world place. So I can actually uh, start one of my next playthroughs here. <clears throat> Maybe in a tundra. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of... <laughs> Trying this one, maybe. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's gonna, actually gonna be too crazy with no growing period at all. Um, and it's still possible to just go outside and go to a way, way better area. I can even like forage on my caravans, or like when I go to some stash, I can pick up a lot of fruit and maybe hunt animals. Yeah, I never done a cold playthrough yet. I just had like a default one in Temperate Forest and then uh, two playthroughs in the desert. But I st uh, one of those just died relatively quickly. Uh, but then another one is still ongoing and going well so far. But I'm like having two Randy randoms there. One is uh, like an actual Randy AI and another one is like my viewers. We are a Twitch toolkit. But yeah, it's like uh, things can go well, well, then you make some mistakes and everything's screwed, and you like lose half of your colonies and they get kidnapped or killed. But the good thing about this game is like it, it rarely kills your colony completely. It almost always would give you like more colonies or like. Uh, less raids because of you have very few colonists um, or like smaller raid size and you can almost always just recover and yeah, I like how how before you reach certain number of colonies the game just gives you many events which allow you to get more people <clears throat> so yeah it's very well balanced yeah, buy a rat, buy a rat. Yeah, exactly. I got so many rats. Uh, yeah, I think it, it was like three times or so. Well, it's just a, some small swarm. This is funny though. 
It's like, oh, oh, there is a ray to, from Twitch, and people are bringing a bunch of rats, or uh, I'm keep making some fun and giving my viewers 500 coins. What are they gonna buy? Of course, it's gonna be like uh, 10 rats. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> Tornado. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. No mods allowed in speedruns. well 2.4 days it's getting very close i'm gonna get in at about like 1830 1845 ish on a split yeah. by tornado yeah actually i've seen some tornado but I think it was a natural one, but it was kind of weird. It just like uh, it did a bunch of like, scaring people around, but like flew away so very fast, and everybody was indoors. How did it happen? Oh... Was it not secured under the roof? Or does Tornado not care? serious problem though yeah that's actually another reason to like a mountain base yeah I'm building my like fridge and storage under the mountain uh, I still wasn't sure like with all the pros and cons but yeah I I'm getting more and more evidence that cons are better the, the, the pros are better and Pirates cannot drop on top of you. Yeah, there's this tornado. Um, you all also you get like free floors. Although smooth surface takes some time. Well, let's jump in. Sixteen hours. Yeah, I wanna check this area too. Uh, yeah, there isn't as much fertile uh, ground and unfortunately big areas and uh, now it are close to the edge of the map um, all right I am I'm gonna prepare to click heavily don't really want to miss my my ride in time. Time. Wow. Neat. It's like another four second save. Yay. Awesome. At this point, 
I don't know how to optimize it further with this strategy. I'd be honest. I ran through starting position as fast as I can. I didn't seem to waste much time on, on getting the caravan out. The trading caravans on, and the other caravans on my way didn't slow me down. Like, uh, the first colony had go choose. I even started the ship faster somehow and spawned like five point something days away from me while considering go juice which is one of the best spawns you can get in that position and like trying other maps just made me realize how lucky I got with this trash g 5 seed and uh, finding my good starting location quickly yep yep Gonna to submit it to well, pretty much uh, shortly after that, or after going to bed. I yeah, I don't know yet. I uh, think I wanna upload it to, it to YouTube, but that takes some time to process. Thank you. You're always welcome. Yeah. I like to have you as a company. So, uh, I think the next speedrun I'm gonna try is uh, just a regular category with a tribe start. I'm likely just gonna use the same uh, map just because ship spawns are so good and yeah I feel like there's a good opportunity to save some time um, the only thing I need to make sure is my colonies don't die and have good plant skill for foraging but other than that I think I can win on reaching ship And yeah, homeless stage becomes a bit faster because I don't really collect anything in that kind of playthrough. But from what I understand, your people need to have plants like 10 plus or so. Um, and you also need careful positioning in deserts. Since in, in case of my map, I, I would really like to have some people near the south, but at the same time, I need to make sure they have enough to forage. Uh, so, I'd probably need some tricky balancing of like, whom do I pick, how good are I plant skills, how do I split them, and just trial and error. Oh, and there is one more thing left to do is. Uh, just show the development mod is off and again show the mods are off 